It's me, it's me, it's me, Anna Marie. It's me, it's me, it's me, Anna Marie. It's me. It's me. It's me. Hello again. In today's viral video, a little girl is going to be showing us just how naughty the words fire pit can sound. And then in my mum's brew, I'm going to be showing you some toys for keeping your children amused in restaurants. This week, I have been trying very hard to steer clear of the minefield that is saying a naughty word in front of my children. And then I saw this video. Fire pit. Quack. Fire pit. Fire <laughs> We're a pretty clean mouth household, and I certainly don't want my children swearing for real, but when you hear it done in such an innocent way, I'm sorry, but I'm with these parents. Say fire pit. Fire pit. Fire pit. Fire pit. Fire pit. Fire pit. I have to say that it's often the moments that I'm supposed to be being most serious with my children that I find funny. They do something that's so naughty or so smart mouthed or so surprising that I can't help but laugh. I usually go for the pretending to be coughing instead of laughing route, which works well for my three year old and one year old. But I am guessing by the time they're teenagers, it won't work quite so well for me anymore. But then I'm also guessing by the time they're teenagers, their bad behavior won't be quite so funny anymore. Here's my brew. So talking about behavior, one of the places that I find most challenging for maintaining good behavior with the kids is in restaurants. So today I thought I would show you a few great toys that I've come across which really help keep them amused. So we have all sorts of little wind up toys. I have a whole bag full now that I've collected over the years. They're great, you can just put them on the table one at a time and work your way through the bag and it really keeps them engaged. I have different types of little coloring pads. The AquaDraw ones are great because there's no mess involved and they're really tiny. Um, I also have this shopping list game at the moment, uh, which is just a really compact game and Joan is really enjoying it. And I'm finding it particularly good because although Willa can't play it properly at the moment, she still enjoys putting the different food on the tabs and so I think it can actually appeal to a wide age range. I also have a little baby for Willa because that's what she really loves with all the little accessories so she can feed her baby, has no clothes because that's how she likes them at the moment. And then I also have all these tiny books. There are so many different collections that you can get, but they're so small that they're really great to carry around in your bag. And when all else fails, I have the Leap Pad. Um, I'm not really one for just letting them watch movies, DVD machines, all of that when you're out at restaurants. I do like engaging them, but if you're having a really long meal, these are great because they have books on them, games, um, it's even a camera, they can draw on it, and it does have the videos on there as well. So these are just a few things that I recommend, but I would love to hear your suggestions too. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support so far. Don't forget to subscribe, find me on Twitter and Facebook, and I will see you next time. Bye.